Hi, welcome to this podcast uh, for periodic uh, LIFO as an inventory valuation method. I want to uh, again highlight that sometimes you will see uh, this wording. Periodic inventory records are kept in units only. Or excuse me, perpetual inventory records are kept in units only. If you see that, what that really means is it is periodic. And in this case, we're looking for ending inventory and cost of goods sold under the LIFO basis. Now, LIFO stands for last in, first out. And so we're going to be looking for um, the um, most recent purchases as the items we sold. When we are um, doing periodic, we assume that all the items were available for sale and therefore they all could have been sold. So when we're doing periodic, the d dates or the times when the sales happen don't matter in our inventory valuation. Now I have prepared this table and I believe that creating the table is the um, easiest way to be successful with these types of problems. And uh, this table just follows our um, how we account for periodic inventory anyway because it's our beginning inventory right there plus our purchases equals that's plus our purchases equals our goods available for sale minus costs of goods sold equals ending inventory and of course that's all in units and what we're looking to figure out is what is the value of ending inventory and what is the value of costs of goods sold um, using periodic uh, LIFO. Okay, and um, the 5200 comes from the total units we sold. So let me uh, scroll down here a little bit because I don't need all that information on um, the top. And what I like to do when I work a problem like this is I just create a section where I can let's see let's see where I can summarize my cost of goods sold and ending inventory so let's go ahead and uh, jump right into this LIFO stands for last in first out so the last items received are the ones that I sold so I'm looking to account for my 5200 in units sold so the last ones I sold, I sold all 500 of those, leaving zero. And here's where I'm going to summarize that. So 500 times 350 is 1750. Uh, now that that has not accounted for all 5200, so I have to keep going. I sold all 1800 of those, leaving zero. And um, I guess I should have mentioned, if you haven't already done so, it's probably a good idea to write out that table. That table's not always or rarely going to be given to you. So I took the information from above and created this table as a way of summarizing and then what I think is pretty easily calculating these. If you didn't, haven't had a chance to create that table, you might want to pause the video to uh, do that. Okay, so back to this part. Um, We've now accounted for 2,300 of the 52, so we need to keep going. We sold all 1,200 of those, leaving zero. All right. Now I'm at 3,500. I sold 52. Um, so there's 1,700 that I still sold. So I sold 1700 from there, leaving 500 Okay, so did you guys see what I did there? Of the 2200 I sold 17 And let me calculate that. 1700 times $3.10 is 5270 and that leaves me 500 still in inventory. 
Okay, so now I can total these. Um, I total all that up and that equals 5200 units. And that's good because that matches what I said I sold. And let's figure out the value of those 5200 units, the cost of the 5200 units. So I take 1750 and 6120, 39, 60, 5270, and I come up with $17,100. That's my cost of goods sold. And so that's the number I can plug in over here. 17100 and that's a subtraction right so my cost of goods available for sale minus my cost of goods sold equals my ending inventory and I can do that math right here 21 to 10 minus 17100 gives me ending inventory of 4110 now I can go ahead and prove that number as well Right, and that's just coming back up here to this table. So what is the what is the amount of ending inventory I still have? Well, I have 800 units at three dollars and twenty cents for a total of 2560, and I have 500 units at three dollars and ten cents. And I'll calculate that just so I make sure I don't make a mistake. And that's 1550. And now I can verify this. There's the 1300 units of ending inventory. And there's the 4110 that I calculated up here. Okay, so what have we done here? Well, a lot of th the problems tend to ask either what is the amount of cost of goods sold under periodic LIFO. In that case, the amount is $17,100. Or sometimes the question will ask what is the amount of ending inventory, of the value of ending inventory under periodic LIFO. And in that case, the amount is uh, $4,110. Okay, uh, that concludes the podcast for Periodic LIFO.